Wegener was dead. But his theory of continental drift lived on. The breakthrough came after the U.S. Navy produced a global map of the ocean floor originally commissioned for submarine warfare during World War II. This detailed map revealed one of the Earth's greatest secrets, the fractured network of submarine mountains, volcanic rifts, and trenches that split the oceans into enormous plates of crust. These plates would be the building blocks for the new science of plate tectonics. The rifts and trenches would provide a solution to how continents drift by proving that the ocean floors are continuously being recycled. Plate tectonics is completely driven by the destruction of the old and the creation of the new. Deep below the surface, mobile mantle rock is in continuous circular motion following convection currents of heat generated deep within the planet. Where these currents rise, the rifts form and the plates are pushed apart with new ocean crust created in the gap. Where the mantle currents sink back down into the earth, they drag old oceanic plate down with them towards the interior. As the ocean plate moves, so do the continents. That oceanic plate drags the continent along with it. The process is like an escalator or a conveyor belt. The process of ocean creation is visible today on a rocky island in the middle of the Atlantic, Iceland. Iceland lies on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a 10,000 mile long range of subsea volcanic mountains that mark one of the deep rifts in the Earth's crust. Iceland is really like a peak of this mountain chain. It's like a huge volcano sitting on top of it. Seismologist Paul Einersen studies the volcanism of this remote island, volcanism that is helping to expand the Atlantic Ocean. Occasionally, an unusual type of volcanic eruption on Iceland confirms the plate tectonic process. A fissure eruption. A fissure eruption is a wall of fire. They can be 25 miles long, and spew lava hundreds of feet into the air. People fear eruptions. They respect the volcanoes. The fissures mark the path of the deep plate boundary that is creating the Atlantic. All across the island, running from northeast to southwest, are the remains of these fissure eruptions, scarring the rocky landscape with shallow canyons. These canyons are very slowly widening Iceland. At their base, new crust is being created, pushing Europe and America apart. So here we are located in the fissure between the two continental plates, the, the two crustal plates. Uh, here on my left, we have the North America plate. And on, on the other side, we have Europe. This fissure here is in a lava flow that's only about 8,000 years old. So in 8,000 years, that's how much the two plates have moved. 